Hello there, I'm Dave Allen, I'm Good Geeky, and while it's nice to have the Shape Builder tool in version 2 of Affinity Designer, it's possible to use the old tools that we had there before, the compound tools. Let's have a look and see how we use those to put this shape together. So I've got this shape set up on the screen now, basically as I'm going to sort of put them together. And what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to take the star here and I'm going to expand the stroke. If I go to the Layers menu, so here we are on the Layers menu, and I'm going to expand the stroke. So then I've got the um, star shape there. Let's go to the star shape here. And I can take that and delete that because I don't want that anymore. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to join that to this one over here. And I'm going to click on the plus tool. So that's made that into one shape. I could have done these um, two sort of egg sort of shapes here and the star uh, all in one go. But let's just do them one at a time. Let's select that now there and we'll put this together as well. Do the plus icon there in the... Um, the joining compound tools. So now what I want to do is take these shapes in the center of this egg shape here and select those with the marquee select tool. Then select the outside shape there. And I'm going to join them together using the subtract tool in the compound tools in the menu bar. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing over here. So let's grab this over here, get that bit there. And then I'm going to click the subtract tool again. Oh my goodness, what's happened? Well, it's vanished. Now, if that happens, it's probably because the uh, levels in the layers panel is not right. So let's do Command Z on that there, bring it back together again. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take this here and we're going to put this at the back. So I can use this tool up here to move to back. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the Shift key and I'm going to marquee select those there. And then I'm going to press the Subtract tool and we've got just what we're looking for. So that's how to make a compound shape without having to go to the Shape Builder tool. And you'll have to decide for yourself which one you think is the best to use. I'm Dave Allen. I'm Green Geeky. Talk to you again soon.